Hello, everybody, and welcome to Friday Night Paper Fight Online Edition over at twitch.tv.com slash LuddingReadyBron. That's not even the URL. My name is Benjamin Wheeler. I am attempting to host this, albeit there are some technical issues that we are experiencing. Matter of fact, let's put it in a way that will ideally limit those technical issues. Uh, tonight, assuming... Everything goes properly, which that might be a big ask. Uh, we will be playing some Canadian Highlander on Magic Online. There's a four-person gauntlet going through uh, the the Fire Wheeler gauntlet, I believe was the uh, decision that we made as a group. We Wheeler of Fire. The Wheeler of Fire. Yeah, there we go. See, that's that's not that bad. Uh, joining it's me... The ring leader tonight. Yeah, exactly. The so ring... instead of a ring of fire. It's a ring leader Wheeler of Fire. Either way, yes. uh, uh, there's myself. Uh, this I'm going to be the POV, uh, but I'm not alone. Joining me, I, of course, have Jeremy White, Nelson, and Cameron. Hello. Uh, we're going to be going through, playing some matches, having some fun, all that jazz. I'm going to try and make sure that um, we win as much as possible. But uh, no promises. We're, we're all trying out some new Akoria cards. Uh, and speaking of new Akoria cards and trying out things, we couldn't do this without all of your help from the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Loading Ready Run. Uh, everything you do through there helps us do stuff like this. Uh, and of course, uh, also can't help but mention uh, CardKingdom.com. If you use the uh, link cardkingdom.com slash LRR, uh, when you make an order, if you say button please, you will receive that button. There are some restrictions on shipping currently, but once they get out there, you'll get a button. Um, and maybe some Akoria cards too. Who knows? Uh, so first off, it's myself against Jeremy. Uh, the deck lists should be available through the chat themselves if you're looking for what is going on here. Um, I'm going to have Cameron and Nelson in here with me as well. Uh, you know, beaking on my lines and my decisions and providing some insight as we seem to mulligan into oblivion here for game one. Uh, if there's anything I'm qualified to do, it's judge your plays. Thank you, Cameron. I appreciate it. It's This deck does have some similarities for the sake of the uh, inactivity timer slowly ticking down. It does have some similarities to Aristocrats. Um, I Hey, this hand has two lands. I'll keep it. It's a green-white deck that is uh, part Soul Sisters, part court of calling birthing pod combo part aristocrats without sack outlets which can be good and or bad it does sound both good and bad thank you jer this is uh i really it's it's weird I, you know i thought to myself what could i do to make pattern rector worse and it was to remove the sack outlets and add soul warden and I, cut tutors. And cut tutors, yeah. So I think overall it's a reasonable decision to make, but who knows? We'll have to see. We ended up keeping a five-card hand. I think we're waiting on uh, Jer. Uh, oh, yeah. I was just trying to even out the clock a bit, you know? Right, we got to... Set us from an even playing field here. Yeah, I appreciate it. We'll, uh, we'll do our darndest not to uh, A, F6 through our turn, and B time out but i gotta warn everybody uh this particular deck might have a lot of awkward clicks to it a lot of nothing being done let's put it that way i am a fan of powerful nothing yeah hey if you're a whereas fan i'm of a fan of nothing powerfully oh, oh. <laughs> i hear that gamers Glad to hear that this deck has uh, problems clicking and not 
I was a little worried you were going to segue into saying this deck tends to lead me to F6 through my turn more often. That would be a, a bigger problem for the deck, I think. I don't need any help going F6ing through my turn more often. I I do that oh, a sufficient amount already. Amen, es brother. <laughs> yeah, especially for someone... You'd think by now I would be able to not do that, but that's just truly something that you can never really shake off. Um that at least that's the story that i'm sticking to oh i feel like playing mtgo is a little bit like riding a bike except if the first time you rode your rode your bike every spring you fell off and like then into a ditch and then were run over by a car and also lost ten dollars <laughs> so it's like the mayhem devil art it's also just yeah. a unicycle on fire you hate to see both your uh filter lands in the opening hand that's an interesting mana base but uh you know my kingdom I had an Aquaria card in my opening hand so i was obligated to keep my kingdom for a cryoclasm or a basic it's land done. oh yeah hmm well jeremy is representing blue mana but i've never mm -hmm. known him to be the kind of player to have counter spells counter spell what is that? I don't get it. So I think I'm also going to do that just for the viewing, for viewing pleasure. Um, if you were a person in the old timey world, Ben, would you maybe be like a blacksmith or would you be like a governor? Would you be like a highwayman, like a robber of sorts? Or would you be some sort of ranch hand, perhaps? Would I be a ranch hand? Um, oh my God. All right. Well, Look at that cowboy, everybody. Yeehaw. Sorry, I resolved the birthing pod, on, which means chat. it's it's hang getting abraded. Hang everybody hang on. The second it we, resolved, we I... We built it instead of lightning bolted the giver of runes precisely so we could then snatch what little hope we were giving Ben away. God, it's like by a... By abrading the birthing pod. We just knew was coming, you know? It's like a Greek I was, tragedy. I was considering abrading the giver of runes for mana efficiency, but then I was like, no, you know what? He plays birthing pod. I'm going to abrade that. And low. I think but the real answer to that question, Nelson, is just like I'd probably be some peasant in a ditch. Farming, maybe. I mean, wouldn't we all? Yeah. I think yeah. we all imagine that we'd be like, you know, a prince or a knight. But no. No, we'd be we'd be uh squatting by a riverside uh digging for tubers, going, damn. I have it on good authority that I'm related to uh, many uh, a, a horse thief in the distant past. Horse thief? How do you how do you get that on good authority? Put this card into my graveyard. I'll say my no. grandma told me. I mean, no slight to any of you to you or your family, but I'm not going to exactly trust a horse thief to tell me that they have a horse thief lineage and reflecting pool shows up man is perfect this is unbelievable <laughs> i mean first off we mulligan into the dirt secondly we get our birthing pod abraded and then recall into what i assume is perfect mana it's okay chat Ooh. okay next question if i were a doritos flavor what would i be would I be A, bold, or B, cool ranch? I knew you were going to say cool ranch. I, okay, I want next on this question, though. Okay. Like, next inclusion? I think no, I'm going Nel to... We, we, Nelson wants people to vote on which Doritos flavor he is. Oh, okay. That's I, fine. I only know that I would be that flavor they came out with a couple of years ago where they were like, we don't know what this is. Why don't you try it and come up with a name for it? We, we we tried we've been trying top down design for the last 30 years of making doritos we decided we'd just throw some stuff together in a beaker and find out what it tasted like you figure it out kind of like the the rando uh gushers or like starburst that are just in like a, a mystery wrapper but then that wrapper ends up being like or the well the wrapper ends up just being well probably reused wrappers as well but just like the flavor itself is 
just whatever leftover starburst that they've scraped off of the machines cord for one See, this is the Cool Ranch play. All right, yeah, I think I think Cool Ranch was the right answer, Wheeler. Did you have a like definitive, correct answer to that uh, question? No, I was trying to just talk in code about what play I should make. But I think... wow, did anyone get that? I sure didn't. Whoosh. What? Really? Doritos Sorry. bold <laughs> on screen okay. right now, and this is Cool Ranch. Of course it oh, is. Yes, I get it now. I mean, I didn't even yeah. I didn't even offer the uh, sweet chili heat living dangerously. Well, um, I knew it must have been a code because sweet chili heat is just objectively the best Doritos flavor. So confirm. I was a little confused why sweet chili heat isn't there, which I uh, familiar with as Ben's favorite Doritos flavor. I I don't want to uh, keep anyone in suspense here. If I was Doritos flavor, I would prefer to be that discontinued one where every fifth chip was too hot roulette yeah wait <laughs> there's a doritos flavor called doritos roulette I oh no so. you missed doritos roulette i mean <laughs> oh no okay it's the wait a minute was doritos roulette that doritos flavor with a roulette table on the front yes <laughs> oh okay just checking <laughs> turns out it wasn't just a clever name if you if you open uh, one out of a million bags, you uh, end up getting uh, a trip to Vegas, where you are Da-da. where you are obligated to Da-da. wager your entire uh, net worth. Oh Jesus! <laughs> you hate Salsa to see shark. It. I'm trying to cast my lovely Acoria card. And you're out here casting your Akoria card on my Akoria card. Now, am I able to give my Luminous Broodmoth protection? No? Moto okay. bug. I'd, I'd file for reimbursement if I were you. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't go for the Sweet Chili Heat play because we would have been immensely punished. Which is probably just the right call anyways. I mean, now that you've got bold out of the way, you can look for the sweet chili heat bag tomorrow night. So it's kind of like, you know, curving your week out. Like I'm layering my Doritos intake. Yeah, it's like it's like having dessert last, but it's your week of bags of chips, right? Where like you have to suffer through some regular cheese on Monday and then Tuesday you have half of a cool ranch as a treat. But you're looking forward to this full bag of sweet chili heat on Friday. Suffer Through Cheese on Monday is a very good album title. I was about to say so. <laughs> I could just... Suffer Through Cheese on Monday. Is that the new Fiona Apple single? I'm pretty down to invite the three of you to just form a Canadian Highlander-based rock band with me so that we can produce it during this pandemic. All right. I mean, we're, we're Canadian and there's four of us and we're all getting old. Doesn't that mean that we have to form a curling rink? That I mean, we're kind of already a podcast. A hip cover band? I Well, I mean, podcasting, the, now is the time to do so, right? Oh my god. Another <laughs> we can't be a hip cover card? band. Jeremy, no. stop. <laughs> None of us... None of us this are dentists. Enough. Who would be the drummer? None of us are dentists. Do we have? Is there to... still time for me? How long is dental school? Is there still time for me? Oh yeah. Right on time. Yeah, this is exactly the card I was looking for. Mm. All right, here we go. A good one. I feel like. Oh. Wait a minute. When is this coming off? Oh. All right. Now we're working at the car wash. Hey, does anyone have that cool emote that says "Yeehaw"? <laughs> please, please. Yes, uh... They all have it. I've got to imagine. Oh, no. 
<laughs> that was a huge mistake. Wait, wait until my cat comes into vision. Oh, no. All right, well. If Mulder comes on the screen, there's going to be far too many cowboy Mulders to fill chat. Ooh. All right, we're drawing all of our best cards. AKA all I'm hoping to do the same. All the cards that have been printed within the past couple of years. Famous new cards like Mother of Ruins and Yavi Maya Hollow. Although Jer is about to draw a million cards. That's not ideal. That's absolutely not ideal. All right, I'm going to try to open chat on my phone without having to listen. Oh, God, you weren't kidding me. That's a lot of yeehaws. And that's a lot I'd of I'd like to moments. apologize on behalf of the Academy at Teleria West. Does this, is this engagement? Um, Lumdis Broodmoth meme? How long before that meme? The, the like, is this blank and then there's the the butterfly how long before that outdated meme makes a comeback but instead just features luminous brood moth because this card ends up being busted in some format Stop. is this good in aristocrats holds up luminous brood moth. oh god no god i hope so <laughs> yeah. we're putting our memes together tonight folk god i wish no oh. my pilgrim Wait, i'm dumb Oh, definitely should have let that result. So I still, could still get my it. But boy. Oh yeah. Big dumb. Classic blunder. All right, we're in it. Potentially to win it. Ooh. Uh. All right. See, this is where this is this is where having a sack outlet might be better. Uh oh, not that one. I want this one. Uh. Yeah, Jer's low on cards. What's the worst thing that could happen? He gets value out of an otherwise useless miscalculation. <sighs> See, this is the... What, what are the downsides about playing on Magic Online uh, for this is that even before the spell is on the stack, I can just hear what? clicking, so I know that I'm getting ranched. <laughs> It's just like the build up for it. Wouldn't even let me gain a life. Oh good. Oh. We might still be fine. Like if we're keeping uh -huh. the monarch for this long. It depends what this is. Uh-huh. Oh no, this feels like a Chandra. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a Chandra. Oh no. Go on. Okay, so we might be fine. Uh, but it's, ooh, it's un, it's, it's not the most likely, uh, end result that we're fine. And eventually I'll break it and start using Ascanta slash this Castle Ardenvale to steal the monarchy. Uh, let's play this. Oh yeah, Castle Ardenvale. Please don't spell snare me. You, no, no, no! Got him! <laughs> <sighs> Eek. <laughs> uh. <sighs> okay this you is... got this tex you can do this oh i feel i mean okay never mind i should have prolonged how i how i felt so that i got to see my monarch card before sounding even slightly optimistic about my chances. Um, I mean, our Monarch card was great. What am I talking about? Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh. Oops. I wish to activate my Teferi. Are you Something sure I'm notoriously that? bad at. Are you sure about that? Give me a good one. Okay. That's one of the things I mess up the most in Magic Online that I don't in paper. In paper, I'll just be like, I'd start my turn by like plus wanting to ferry and then immediately doing something else. But because you have to click a bunch, I've always put it off. 
yeah. on Magic Online, and then, you know, just never happens. Um, yeah, the amount of times I've just missed activating a Planeswalker, only to have, of course, chat be like, uh, <laughs> well, it looks as though it is you who has made the punt, streamer, for I have witnessed you missing your activation on your Oko with 18 loyalty. Um, yeah. And it's always the irrelevant ones. Like, I was never forgetting Chandra because she actually did a thing. Yeah. But, like, Teferi's plus one was literally just, like, put a loyalty counter on Teferi. Yeah, the, this Essence Warden. Uh, probably not getting uh, aggressive anytime soon with that Castle Arden Veil. Why ever not? <laughs> well, the thing is... Oh, symmetrical. Let's yield to that. All right, this life gain is going to keep us in, chat. We are drawing a lot of giddy up cards. All right, do the thing. Okay, so this art that we have on screen. I still want to do this thing. This. Yeah, where's that from? How do we do that? Well, what I was going to say is that this we you understand the flavor of the card right like it's it's supposed to be this kind of like I'm, I'm i'm trying not to give it away necessarily but uh, long story short Viva la resistance wait i mean show me your moves oh yeah we got probed perfect um it is it you know we, it's to the barricades we can all right? get in on this like look at the, yeah it, doesn't this art just kind of it kind of looks like he's riding like one of those automated animal rides outside so of anybody who's ever taken the hobbits to isengard it's this guy well he just looks like he popped 50 Whoa. cents in the horsey out front of the thrifties and it's just like rocking back and forth yeah like just replace that grown man with a three-year-old and you have exactly what you're trying to communicate exactly i don't think you've seen the horsey outside the thrifties nelson yeah that can fit more than just a three-year-old it could it could fit uh certainly a 28 year old man that streams for a living that is tired of the thrifties employees from telling me to get out of the kitty ride i mean uh, i mean that that is a guy who's currently feeding a roll of quarters into the kitty ride and who knows the cops are on their way <laughs> look this might be the last time i get to uh, get to ride this you gotta give me the shot Hmm, that I don't always have a restraining port put out on me, but when I do, it's for a mechanical toy. That Chandra is uh, awfully close to its ultimate ability. One could say already there. Hmm. This can it's only... not very good, though. I wouldn't worry about it. This can only go well. Are you playing a Riding Horses theme deck? <laughs> You know, it wasn't intentional, but now that you mention it, how many... There, there's a lot of horses or horse-related cards being uh, rode. Like, not quite a horse. Not quite a horse. I don't know if there's any literal horses being giddied up. Um... Hmm... If this leaves, we yep. get to do that. Yeah, but... I think we're going to damage here, folks. Uh... Usually when your opponent ultimates their Planeswalker with four loyalty abilities, you're not really winning. But... Go on. I, I mean, hey, now's the time. We have some life gain. We might be able to come out... Oh. Well, you absolutely well, hate to see it. We've got a new plan for winning this game. So, Jeremy, what did you have for breakfast? <laughs> it's magic online. I can't. It doesn't work like that. Yes, yeah. that's the joke. Please, please miss it. I mean, I respect it as much as the next person, but. It's OK. I have a sick card in my hand that will end the game right here. Oh, no. Where? Where? Look. We might actually be, well, fine is a stretch. We might be not dead. I mean, that's a nice middle ground, right? 
I think we're untapping. <laughs> Great. It's a high bar to set. But we can we can get to a point where we can tap as many lands as we want before we can see, not just the two that are in front of us. It's true. I can tap this forest and then press Z and have it untap and hold Jeremy hostage. Although we do have our own timer and we're currently down on time. Hmm. Uh Uh, do I care for much of this? Would you like to respond? I think so. But I don't know how relevant it's going to be. You know what? Give me that. 18 life. Never felt safer. Uh-huh. Oh, you love to see it. Oh. <laughs> Ty, this never looked better. A one mana, five damage? This is unbelievable. Well. With a redraw. Let's go. Zomg. It's okay. Are you playing the Triome in this deck? Yeah. And it's right here. Oh, I probably shouldn't have said that in case I actually drew it. Okay. Okay. Now's the perfect time for me to not remember what's in my deck list. I think we'll be fine. I should just pump infinite mana into doing this. Actually, hold up. We might be... F uh... I take it all back. Uh... Go on. No, I'm fairly certain. Fairly certain we don't have a lot. You know what? Let's play around that man. about that one anyway. Let's play You're around. You're allowed play. to go look at your deck list on a tab if you want to. Oh this yeah, is like no, a Magic uh, Online reality that we could talk about. You mm -hmm. know the way the way you're beholden to remember your library is actually just different online. Yeah, I could. It's true, you know, even at pretty high level. Oh. Like, you can play a PTQ and just always have perfect access to your library on, on Magic Online. Yeah, it was more of a, I'm trying to see if I can just remember off the top of my head. But I'm oh, yeah, fairly, fa totally fairly certain that, oh, Well, folks, I think we're dead here. And oh, me, oh, my. Now, I think I, I, I don't, I, when I say that, I don't necessarily mean um, that from like a, well, we probably don't have an out. I just actually, oh, yeah. See, I was thinking, I don't think I have any green five drops. And I'm pretty sure I only added one green to four drop. And none of them would have done anything. So I'm just going to back also this is a cute little snapshot of my deck list for those at home that want to see it i mean i think the rule of the game is that if you play ooh, the player that plays the most companions uh automatically wins right speaking of automatically winning this is quite the hand yeah this hand's all right above average you could say i think so well i think so let me i see okay well that resolved perfect perfect mana base and perfect uh giving uh, perfect thing Hmm. Okay, well. Ooh. The splash? I'm not going to reveal it yet. Instead, I think it's better off if I just uh, 
develop old faithful here. Old faithful. Yeah. What do you think about that? This hand makes it look like I'm just playing a really bad mid range deck, which is not entirely inaccurate. Video's frozen? Hmm, that's not good. Does seem suboptimal. Let's see if we can fix that. Um, my apologies at home. We were having some technical issues out of nowhere, and then it appears as though we had it fixed somewhat, and now we are on it. Uh, let me see what we can do. Mm. One frame, a singular frame, eh? That's not good. Ooh. I mean, this is also probably not good. Um, let me see if a little. Twitch has been dying all day. Yeah, you're not wrong. Okay, well, I'm going to reveal my secret technique. My Volras stronghold off the splash. And then hit you with the old uh, dealing damage momentarily good. Hmm. Okay, we're getting mixed. I'm getting mixed reviews on whether or not the quality is back to a thing. Let's see if I can do anything on my end. Yeah, maybe just kill the uh, the disco stream. We can we can watch on stream. Sure. Maybe let's see if that helps. Tell you what, to make it easier on uh, Cameron and Nelson, I will uh, at the beginning of every single uh, turn, I will recite all the permanents in play and all the cards in my hand. Oh. Okay, that's fine too. Audio is fine. Hmm. And the swords? Oh, God. Okay. Well, that's a little bit much. Tashar had a family, and that Kitchen Finks... Well, that Kitchen Finks had a thing. Big oof. A, yeah, that Kitchen Finks had an oof at home. Which I guess technically could be a family. Mm. Okay. This is where we come into it. This is where we get to develop the big old... Well, I can't stronghold. So instead, I guess I'm going to have to resign myself to drawing the best card of my deck at any given time. I don't know if reading the rules text of Illusionary Mask will help. It's fine now. It's playing and fine. The frame rate is bad. Mm. Ooh. Let's see. All right. How about a three mana three two? Okay. Great. Chad, I'm just going to do a test to make sure that the uh, uh, the audio is working. Um, Illusionary Mask is a two mana artifact that has pay X. You may choose a creature card in your hand whose mana cost could be paid by some amount of or all of the mana you spent on X. If you do, you may cast that card face down as a 2-2 creature spell without paying its mana cost. If the creature that spell becomes as it resolved has not been turned face up, would assign damage or deal damage, be dealt damage or become tapped. Instead, it's turned face up 
and assigns damage or deals damage and is dealt damage. Activate this ability at only any time you could activate a or cast a sorcery. If if you didn't get all of that, I can also just re I could restart. I could go back from the top. Illusionary Mask has rules text so long that the Lurbot the Lurbot can't even fit it all. So that's how you know the card's good. It's fine now. Great. Glad of it. Oh. You don't love to see this, but you know, this is the world in which we live. Mind if I save my permanent? Ugh. Mind if I keep it in exile? Actually, I don't know what I want to do with this. I don't think you can keep it in exile. I think you have to cast it if there's a... a no, target. you can decline to cast it, but and that just remains in exile, but that's obviously far from the oh, ideal. Yeah, it does say you make it. There you go. If I draw Eternal Witness, this is very awkward. So you know what? I'm going to... not draw eternal witness i mean that would be ideal i mean it's three damage versus having ephemerate still in the game yeah but if i know anything about jeskai three damage ends up being not a big deal pretty quickly and ephemerate in the game might be one of the only ways that i can rebuild my board after any kind of uh, mass removal or well, not even mass removal, just any kind of removal. Hmm. Maybe I should have cycled this. You know, it used to be when a control deck had four mana up, you were like, okay. There's probably a Cryptic Command or a Restoration Angel there. Something like that. But now that there's five mana, and I have to think about that stupid shark. Duh. And I mean, I guess you always had to think about Mystic Confluence. So maybe I'm just talking out my butt. Or just the good old fashioned scry. That's also, that's also fine. This is also good. Well, this is what I put this in here for, so. As you were. What? Oh, <laughs> you. <sighs> okay. 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 Sorry. We're let fine. Me, Everybody's fine. We're fine. Let me just pull up Twitch chat because I imagine there's a bunch of... Oh, there they are. Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay. It's all coming together now. I'm hoping to see some ranged icons here. It's. I'm hoping to... I mean... This is just unfortunate. How come my Renegade Rallyer can't just jump over the moat? This is a question asked by people all over the world. Thankfully, I have this flyer. But it might die. Do you hear those people singing? Those are the songs of angry men. What what happens in someone's life that drives them to play Moat and Jeskai Control? Oh, God. Okay, well, this doesn't bode well. I could get a removal spell, or I could get greedy and get recall. Uh, oh. All right, fine. Fine. It's okay. I needed more white mana anyways. Classic needed triple white. 
now I mean at least it's a guaranteed flyer all right to no chance you're splashing red for mind blaze here is there mind blaze no I cut it last minute it was between Mind Blaze and Possibility Storm, and then I ended up forgetting both of them. Embarrassing, absolutely embarrassing for sure, but. There you were on the bus to the tournament. Oh, I forgot my Mind Blaze. Oh, no. Running between all the dealers. Do you have Mind Blaze? I know, I know you're probably sold out, but I'm looking for a Mind Blaze. Ooh. That's pretty good. I think. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, actually, I don't need to do it. I only need to do it for that. And now we can giddy up. For her. we can have our uh, the the gruesome two. Oh. Okay. Well. No, thank you. Come on, Tashar. No, thank you. Just playing the uh, the police commissioner of No Fun, like the the No Fun police commissioner, the captain of the No Fun squad. I'm trying to play green, white, little kid, kinda. No, you're not. No, no, no. I know green, white, little kid when I see it. Hear me this out. This is not, not it. Hear me out. It's not, I'm playing green, white, life gain, bird tribal. Moth tribal. Closely named the deck, hear me out. And it's just mono red from before Ikoria and standard. And instead of runaway steamkins or the, uh, the three one that you can adventure, you just play seven, seven dwarves. <laughs> segue sorry sorry no that's fine i i too have recently had the thought of maybe seven dwarves is playable that's a normal For highlander yeah oh yeah <laughs> I, I it definitely crossed my mind recently obviously we're happy to play it in limited and then in standard i'm i'm on the i'm on the bus that's just like okay maybe maybe standard yeah but for our format do we have a trick do we have a way to get them all down uh even if they're four fours is that good no you just build you're just mono red and then you just have a, a whole bunch okay, so we're gruel aggro but we have seven copies of seven dwarves like I, I, I gotta imagine that's that's just good deck building. It's not the worst thing I've seen somebody put in Gruel Aggro. Anything for magic, but I won't do that. Ooh. Alright, now we're entering the part of the game where this splash for Volrath Stronghold is really paying off. I mean, there's other things in here, too. There's a uh, Deathrite Shaman activation and Marin. But boy, oh boy. Is this Recruiter of the Guard ever just a... Come on, just let it resolve once. Not uh, this... Do oh, well, it doesn't fly. This, this shark doesn't fly. Yeah, it's, it's like the one shark in Aquaria that doesn't fly. I know. Which... I can understand for design reasons why. And it's probably better off being that way. But come on. Miss, uh, did you miss Miss Bind Cleek? Because, boy, if you <laughs> miss Miss Bind Cleek, we got a standard card for you, right? Are you, are you tired of playing in standard formats without a four cost? Like a, or so, for cost, not four cost. Having a reasonably cost flyer that also disrupts your opponent's game plan? Because boy, oh boy, do miss we miss it have... when there was only one deck in standard. But it doesn't fly. Also dies to removal unless you have a second. This car, this creature's terrible. It dies to removal. Oh yabba dabba. Okay, okay, here we go. Actually, I don't know what I'm getting. Uh. 
Hmm. Do you think the other sharks tease it about not being able to fly? I can only hope so. Oh, it's definitely Rudolph. Like, Voracious Great Shark is, like, the one shark that couldn't fly and then all of a sudden you know wheeler needed a counter spell or jerry needed a counter spell here and then one foggy uh friday night voracious great shark came to say rudolph with sure your... i'll counter that creature rudolph with your nose so bright do you mind using a counter spell so i can win this fight uh this card's actually not great i sh probably could have got this. I pivoted my game plan halfway through, um, halfway through tutoring here. Ooh, maybe I'm just finding you. You're pretty good at uh, partying hard. Heck yeah, let's grab that. That's some good value, right? I mean, it might eat a counter spell, but Balras Stronghold MVP. Mm-hmm. We're not, we're not, we can't beat this stronghold. Hey, stronghold. Oh no. Buckle up, buckle up viewers at home. We've got a game three and Magic Online is trying to create new windows. Ooh. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh... My greed is telling me no. My mind is telling me no. So usually if my greed is saying this is a bad idea, then it's an abs absolutely bad idea. This is just... Yeah, this is... See, this is much better. Uh, I might actually tuck that away. Yeah, let's rock this. I'm excited. I haven't, for the record, I haven't checked everybody else's deck list, which I probably should have, but I kind of wanted to keep the, like, Akoria secrets. Well, secrets. I looked at yours, but just to make sure I didn't, like, accident accidentally put in something that just, like, posed you. Like a moat? <laughs> no, I, I know, I know. Moat was totally fine. accident just on purpose here to hose you but it didn't yeah. matter what was in your deck so i checked to see what you were playing and then i decided aether gust sounds good yeah like i took that one out oh no a braid helix oh fire peak efficiency All right, great. We didn't get punished by a daze. <laughs> Definitely crossed my mind. It is in the deck. Yeah, I... Oh, uh, certainly nothing nothing suspicious on the other end there. Yeah, I, I just misclicked. You know, I meant to hit no. I hit yes, but now we have to live with the consequences. <laughs> Sorry, I meant that to come into play tap. Do you mind if we restart the entire match? Yeah, we'll probably get the same cards. Oh, we can't? All right, I, I guess it'll just be untapped then. My bad. Imagine having untapped mana. Oh my god. In this economy. I know. Oh. This deck might struggle against recall. I mean, a lot of decks struggle against recall. But this deck might really struggle against recall. Um. Uh... Having played a lot of green white in the format, I can say that green white in general struggles against recall. Pretty, pretty confidently. It's okay. We didn't put this run in here for no reason. Call. It's a confident struggle. <laughs> Call. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Maybe I should have put in more. 
I mean, that card's not bad. All right, tell you what. I want this value engine cat. Value cat? God, I love this cat. Go forth, young Luris. Please. Surely you can't expect this to resolve. No. Oh, God. I mean, I didn't expect it to resolve. But maybe I should have expected... Well, uh, I didn't expect it to resolve. I guess I was hoping it wasn't a drain. Okay, well, that's just rude. You know. My poor Lanoir elf. Oh, no. See, this is how it ends. <sighs> Mystic Sanctuary is great. But with a whimper here, huh? I don't have uh, confirmation that I'm allowed to play outside audio clips. But if those at home could just assume. Is there a violin? Tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling down. <laughs> yeah, it's not looking very good. That you did not demonetize the stream just now. Nah, we're fine. The song's got a German name. They're not going to catch it. Uh, for those in chat who aren't familiar, <laughs> Ben there is making a reference to the 1998? Uh, 99, 98, I think, was... Uh, the Japanese was animated film, End of Evangelion, and its song, Kom Suser Todd. Oh. <laughs> no, any of that, uh, you know, in chat, you're in good company here. Not everybody in the voice call knew what was going on with that. Yeah, at least at least two of four were clueless. I wanted to keep my sadness to myself. And I guess also broadcast it to everybody listening. Those cards in hand were good. <sighs> you know. Oh, you didn't. You, did, there. you forgot to click no again. Oh, did I? Jeez. Oh, what, a, what a fumble. It's okay, we're at 20. It's okay, we're at 17. I'll just walk with my Lanoir Elf. Uh, there's, there's, an, there's an art of Lanoir Elves where they're chilling out in, a, in like a tree, right? Like it's the promo, the Dominaria, like FNM one, or like a promo art. I think so, yeah. If you were flavor if you were flavor judging a cube draft and that was the copy that was in the cube and somebody argued that copy of Lanoir Elves should have reach where do you side with that I think if it was like not a card that had precedence then I might say it's legit mm. but So if it was just like a newly printed kind of like mana dork elf that was like in a tree yeah okay. but like when you think of lanor elves you don't think of you know haven't you had enough now some people may think i'm targeting ancestral recall but i'm actually targeting fire i'm glad this is in my uh my argument for no reach is just that the elves in the trees are like looking down and the trees are so tall that they're probably still in the lower third of the like tree height below the canopy that's my argument for no reach I would have to uh, side with Nelson here. Those, There's an awful lot of tree above those elves. Okay, okay. If they were even looking forward, you'd have like a treetop scout ability on them from Onslaught Block or whatever, mm -hmm. but they're looking down. <sighs> okay. Estanius in chat letting us know. We're asking the real important questions here. Should have Forest Lock. Should have forest home. Oh, takes me back. Because we've only we've only really seen island home. You know, magic players really hate incomplete cycles. So we need to see. We really need to see what else can be done when you put a restriction on a creature, uh, such as um, forest home or swamp home. Yeah, when, when are these cycles going to be completed? And, you know, we'll find out the true power of Forest Home. 
we, we magic's been around for 25 years but this is just some crucial design space that's being left untapped as it were they say that they're going to be <laughs> wizards hey, makes an announcement that we're going to finally complete a cycle that you've been asking for for ages um and uh we think those at home <laughs> will feel a little more at home and then they just print Oh god, what the hell? Uh, uh, this bit sucks. I can't even remember the name of the lands. Secret Lair? Are you trying to think of Secret Lair? Or... No. Oh, no, I wasn't. But now I'm trying to think of anything except for what's going on in this match. I mean, Jeremy kept the Mystic Gate untapped, so we have a shot. Uh, yeah, I've yeah. used two Force Wings already. What are the odds I just bought them to days because I already have Pact of Negation in hand? Pact of Negation? Oh, that causes you to lose the game. Easy. Let's go Mothra. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. I think that's fine. Yeah, you can draw your card. I already drew my card. Oh, okay. My bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can I ephemerate a card on the stack? Ooh, good question. Probably another Magic Online, bud. Canadian Highlighter is notorious for discovering Magic Online bugs. Um, yeah, Custody Lich. Mm -hmm. Finally got fixed. Only last week, two weeks ago, did it get fixed? How many times did you tweet about it? Uh, I think I retweeted you twice. It, I've, I've tweeted about it at least four times. It hits it hits pretty close. When you remove like one of the better top-end cards from black mid-range decks and low-curve control decks, it uh, really starts to hurt. Already. GG's. Thanks Boosh. for the games. Thanks for the games. Nice. Nice one. Alrighty. Um so we're going to have uh am I against uh Cameron or are we against Nelson next? Which uh I think I can I jump in here. we're up against Nelson next. But okay. what we should do is mm -hmm. thank the subs that came through in that first match. Absolutely. Um, take an ad break i'm not sure yeah we could read some subs and then take a quick ad break and then when we'll be after all that then we can come back and play more uh why don't we go around the horn i can i can start us off at uh jesse k 94 coming back for the 14th month thank you jesse k astrid alice came back for the 49th month thank you where do i read them uh, Jared and Ellie both don't have the URL. Sorry All about right, that. All right, tell you what. Uh, I'll take Ma Pete for the ninth month. Insert baby joke here. Hum. Rabbit eight one eight one two four came back for the eighth month. Thank you. That means we're at Crockle back for the thirty seventh month. I don't know what a Crockle is, but thank you. Squirrel Lord one 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 one. Came back for the 10th month. The high ground will be ours. All right, I'm here. Para Nundrox subbed for the 56th month. Thank you very much, Para. Uh, yeehaw. Well, who's this handsome fellow? Oh, that's Mulder. Wah, 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 wah. Uh, let's see. Great Sacrificer back for the 27th month. I could go for a Great Sacrificer in this deck. Pi is not... Three came back for the fourth month saying, Yay, can lander. Solemn storm for 41 months. Thank you so much. Got a sick possibility storm uh, avatar. Oh, yeah. Uh, MC 40k back for the 46th month. That's almost 40k months. Lemony Fresh came back for the 17th month. It's all time. Harvester369 for 44 months. Thank you so much. Why does this always happen? Why do I have to thank Croc? 
Well, I guess I should... You know what? I can, I can fix this. Thank you, Para, for gifting a sub to Croc. It's very kind of you. Um... Sojex, brand new sub. Welcome. Thank you for deciding to support us. And the homie, Lowman02, thanks to Singamuse. Good to see both of you. Still right. hanging around, and thanks for your support. Alrighty, so we're going to take a quick commercial break, and then when we come back, uh, we're going to ramble lamb some ding dongs. It's going to be myself against Nelson, and hopefully, my little soul wardens are able to, uh, you know, be relevant to the overall structure of the game and the course of the match. Uh, so uh, don't go away. Uh, we'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody, to the Friday Night Paper Fight Wheeler Gauntlet uh, over at twitch.tv slash loading ready run. Uh, I am Wheeler, and I am joined by Cameron uh. and Nelson. Uh, I'm currently fighting Nelson. Uh, we just fought Jeremy in round one. Jeremy was playing Just Guy Control. Um, I don't want to spoil how the match went. However, Jeremy did resolve three copies of Ancestral Recall. <sighs> it just draws cards. Yeah, it's 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 kind of a you know, if it's a simple card, really, and not very powerful at all. Uh, only... An elegant design from an earlier era. Exactly. Exactly. Um, the deck we are playing is a green-white Celesnia creature combo-ish style of deck. Uh, it's got a mid-range plan, too. It's, it's a little all over the place, let's put it that way. Um, and mine. Yeah. I'm closing Animal Crossing. So, hope you all appreciate that. Mm. Okay, now, if... If if you... I, I know very little about this version of Animal Crossing, although I plan to change that. Which character is most... like... Selesnya? I'm regretting saying this already. It started out as a joke. Like, I wanted to be like, which guild is Tom Nook? And then I was like, oh, God, no, I'm I'm way off the train on this one. And I don't think I can get off. <laughs> you, you, you've opened your mouth and started uttering a syllable, and now, now you can see the end coming. <laughs> there's a tunnel, and there's a light at the end of that tunnel. Sh should I go towards it, Cameron? It's It's <laughs> so warm. <laughs> Just, just go to the go toward the light, sweetie. All right. Well, what's there? What's on the other side of the light? Okay. So good luck. Yeah. Good luck. Way. Have fun. Yeah. We we didn't and, give the, the that's right. Trees. Our deck lists are available, but I'm playing like a teamer prowess sort of a deck. Like spells matter, but creatures matter too. And we've got a berserk in our list. So blitz, baby. I don't mind. I don't mind pointing out to the chat that. Uh, Wheeler's fairly familiar with that this deck as he built it. And also, this is the second time I'm piloting this list. I like it a lot. It's updated, but uh, you can, if you want to see more of what comes out of Nelly's side of the table here, you can check out the May 27th, I think. May Definitely May of, like, 2018. Um, we, we played the same deck. Yeah. Unfortunately, at least for that build, I found it pretty difficult to find room for the... Uh the Gaia's Might, and the, like, Might of Alara. The pump spells. Almost cut Might of Alara for Groundswell at the last minute, actually. Yeah, I'm mean, Groundswell is totally fine. It, basically, you just want as much damage as possible. I mean, I think that's the... That's the modus operandi by... For, or mo, modus operandi for uh, most decks looking to beep, beep, smash face. Oh god, now Chad is just talking. How is KK Slider Rakdos? I suppose he's a performer. But uh I would take exception to Tom Nook being Orzov. He just expects to be paid, but he did take in those two orphans and adopt them so and teach them his craft. 
I think Tom Nook is actually far more generous than he's usually given credit for. So Tom Nook is Simic? Uh, I'd say he's Celesnia, or maybe Azorius. He's very interested in growth. He he likes to see things become developed. Mm. Last pop with another good catch for the deck. Scale up maybe should be an include over the the Might of Alara. It's like the deck has sort of been in flux for a little while. Right. Scale up, yeah. Scale up is absurd. It's a good one. Scale up, yeah. yeah scale up should probably just 100% be in that deck. Um, ooh. Okay. Well, I should read how this card works. Scale up is super strong with all yes. the counters, but... too. Mm hmm. Like the, the query and dry it effects and whatnot. It's only adjusting yeah, the base. That's true. Okay. I can, as long as it remains exiled, I can cast it if it's a creature spell. Okay, well, how about this? Uh, how about this one? Great. This Mother of Runes is attacked twice, and I do think it is... Uh, I think it's probably correct to do it. Or sorry, it's not a mother of runes. The giver, giver of runes. Yeah. Um, what what is giver of runes, runes nickname? I mean, I always like Brenda. Oh, just going full, just actual factual name. I've, I yeah. mean, a lot of okay. So there's all well, like I mean, stepmom. Stepmom, but like, is there a more stepmom name than Brenda? Call me mom. No, no just Brenda. call me mom. Yeah. No. Um, no, I'm not going to do that, Brenda. Who's her mommy, and what does she do? More stepmommy name. Hmm. Stepmom-ish. Brenda's a very good stepmom name. Oh. Okay. I wish I could choose Jer. Protection from Jer. Yeah, I feel like Jer's more likely to get me here. No offense. He no, just it's... seemed to have it all that last game. His, all of his recall cards start spilling into this match. That's right. Um... He's got too much card advantage. That card advantage is going to have Trample. All right, bye-bye, Viv. Oh, Vivian's a good stepmom name. Vivian is a good stepmom yeah. name. And then... and. And the stepmom says, like, just call me Viv. And they're like, no, to me, you are only Vivian. That's all I can handle. I can only deal with Vivian. True um, name is a very awkward card for me to deal with because I can't deal with it. But I can cast this Knight of the Reliquary from the I like Aether. It. Um, but I'm probably not fan, doing anything fan. else. Other mom? Yeah, I mean, you could call uh, the the options for Giver of Ruins. You know, a lot of people say the Mother of Ruins is better because she can target herself. Um, but really, she only has one name, and that's Mom. But Giver of Ruins has the flexibility of you can put, you know you can give something protection from colorless, um, and then also just her nickname could just be anything it could be step mum it could just be other mum well there's two that's what i guess there's two <laughs> all right you get to see my sad palace jailer palace jails oh savine the archangel okay i thought it was sweet chili ranch Oh, this the the palace jailer, yeah. Well, in here, like palace jailer, if pa if palace jailer is eating sweet chili Doritos, then true name nemesis is like the stomach problem that you've been having all day. Like you're just you're challenging fate. <laughs> you're basically saying like I know this is going to end poorly, but I want to see how poorly. Because, like, sure, I'll get the Monarch, but then you get the Monarch. And then I'll get the Monarch. 
benevolent bodyguard is probably the the um <laughs> the like version of the dad if you're looking to expand the one man of protection creatures nickname hmm. but nobody because and much like dad nobody respects benevolent bodyguard oh he tried but just popper players kids yeah, who need exactly. their allowance money right they just need to give, like, come on, give give Benevolent Bodyguard some respect. That card's great. You need to, you need to show Benevolent Bodyguard respect, but you don't really respect <laughs> yeah, him? Yeah, yeah. That's how it is with that. You don't have to respect me, but you should at least act like you respect me. That's right. That's right. You need to act as though you respect Benevolent Bodyguard. <laughs> um... Okay, we got a 1-1 one, one Fiend Artist on. Is this the best card out of the new set? It's the one I've seen played the most, I think. I think it's probably pretty absurd. It's hard to tell. This Akori is just like kind of amazing. I feel like it has a lot of good cards, but I'm not sure if they're all good for Highlander. Like I think I don't know. Is this is this set as good for the format as like Shadows over Innistrad was? Hmm. I think I th- it's tough. I think the cards might... Fiend Artisan, though, for sure good. Yeah, I think they might end up being more impactful. Like, there's not as many really good cards... Or, sorry, like, the actual density of cards is smaller, but that's just because Mutate is, like, kind of a self-contained mechanic, or at least it's at its best when it's self-contained. Yeah. No, I agree with that. Um... What am I doing? I Every guess time if... I get on the CFB stream, three people ask me if the North 100 set review is out yet. <laughs> Jesus, just wait. Hurry up and tell us which cards to play, Ben and Jer and Alex and Serge. Please tell me which cards to play so I could ignore it immediately and build cycling <laughs> dot deck. That's right. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I. Oh, hey, hey. <sighs> I'm really not looking forward to when we talk about the unpredictable cyclone, like the big cycling card, because mm. I have I have a pretty hot I yeah I worry that what I say might influence the youths too much. Aw, that's a true sign of growing up. I don't want to be responsible for a bunch of young Canadian Highlander players going out and spending all their money on Fluctuator and copies of Rapid <laughs> Decay. I can't have that on my conscience. I have only one thing to say to you, sir. I don't believe you. I may or may I think not... you can't wait to do that. Yeah, yeah, I can't. I may or may not have spent, like, t- several hours trying to build a... a a fluctuator like a a zero land fluctuator combo deck anyways i'm gonna pile sailor this thing in the ice and try to change the the topic (sighs) totally fine yeah do you jam for one with giver runes again this turn Uh, i don't think so oh all right all right i was hoping for it the first time i talked about it so you must know i'm up to something i I got this fiend artisan to try and protect yeah it's just like if i let this thing in the ice stick around there's only two counters on it my deck's not exactly the best at killing. Like, I need to, like, build up a bit and then pop off. But yeah, I spent way too much time trying to be like, which cycling cards should I not play on the off chance that somebody, like, Dire Fleet Daredevils me? <laughs> or, like, should I not play any big creatures? Oh, this is not going to end well, I imagine. Which big creatures should I not play due to my opponent potentially having reanimate? Okay, okay. Uh, I'll block. Hey, wait. Dreadhorde. Dreadhorde Arcanus. This deck actually got, like, a lot of really good tools 
It got a couple cards since 2018, for sure. Yeah. We bought a bunch of new cards. There's a few more directions we could probably push it in, just because the the power level and the mana cost of the cards that we found in the last couple of years, you know, you can rely on them a bit more. And so you could you could you could play a deck like this with some total non-bows in it or like uh, action in a different direction and play like a few mid-range cards next to your your all-in blitz strategy if you wanted to, just because. Yeah, I don't know. You yeah, have the tools to hang later in the game, I think. It's like... you Oko is an on theme, but it's pretty hard to say no code to Oko. <laughs> yeah. I also actually wouldn't mind, I don't know, but putting the full five-color version back together and getting a, a Teferi in there. Teferi is obviously nice if yeah. you are playing pump spells. All right, gamers, get ready to rumble. All right. Uh, what do we got out of uh, let me just, Mr. Just, Wheeler? Let me turn? let me just read Fiend Artisan again. Yeah. Or are you gonna go infinite? I'll yeah. scoop to infinite life here. I will, but let me let me uh, illustrate it for the viewers at home. Yeah. Yeah. What what's happening here, Wheels? So I'm gonna. I had a double strike trick for last turn if anyone's curious, but it wasn't lethal, so I held it. So I I'm activating this Fiend Artisan, finding a two drop creature. By sacrificing my Wall of Omens. Uh, that two-drop creature is going to be Safi Eric's daughter. Which means that oh, I get taking a... taking me back to 2005. Which means I get a uh, Soul Warden trigger. And then, from the shadows of my Exile Zone, I have Loyal Retainers. So let's talk Ooh. about some cards that are on screen, chat. I have Soul Warden, which is a one-mana one-one. That whenever any other creature comes into play, I gain one life. I have Safi Eric's Daughter. Two mana, two, two legendary creature that has sacrifice. Uh, when target creature is put into the graveyard uh, from play this turn, return it to play. And then I have this little chestnut, Loyal Retainers from Portal 3 Kingdoms. Uh, and I guess from like Amonkhet packs or whatever, uh, Hour of Devastation packs. Uh, it's a three mana one one that has sacrifice loyal retainers return target legendary creature from your graveyard to play use this ability only during your turn and before attackers are declared so i'm gonna sacrifice safi targeting my loyal retainers which says when this loyal retainers dies bring it back to play and then because safi's legendary i get to sacrifice my loyal retainers to return safi safi's ability triggers Bringing back Loyal Retainers, which gains me a life from Soul Warden. Loyal Retainers ability resolves, which brings back Safi, gains me a life from Soul Warden. See, we're back where we started, but we have Soul Warden, Safi, Loyal Retainers, and now more life. So we're going to gain infinite life doing this. Ta-da! Uh, technically speaking, one cannot gain infinite life. <sighs> Excellent work, Cameron. I true. felt it was important that I contribute something, anything. Oh, Cameron, you're just listening. Cameron, you're contributing plenty. Please and please chime in with any of the bullshit that. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I can say it once. Uh, that we have uh, <laughs> on screen because, uh, well, Trinamed Nemesis doesn't tend to lead to interactive magic. And, uh,. <laughs> Whatever the heck I was doing also doesn't do that. Ooh. Yeah, let's let's ship. Let's ship. Ooh. Sure, why not? Hmm. Well, I'm on the draw, you say. Surely we'll draw. I do say that. I say that you're on the draw. You are on the draw. Great. Love it. We did it. Oh, no. Okay. Well, we may have made a punt, world. Did you accidentally um, load up a different Yeah. Deck? I grabbed a wrong card because I 
I forgot that we were still mid mulligan. I fell asleep during your mulligan. There we go. Let's get. I can get mean at least about it and blame Wheeler. Um, that's okay. We can fix it. Wait, hold up. Got the wrong. Oh wait, curve? can you hit cancel and do it again? Oh, you can. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you can, there's you a can, You can back it. it on up, not unlike a U-Haul truck. We fixed it. Yay. Okay. Yay. Thanks, Moto. I've that's gotta be the first time that Moto's taken care of me like that. Sorry, MTGO has taken care of me like that. I'm so used to MTGO just putting me immediately under the bus when I make a, a wrong click. Yeah. And as I have many times. Don't don't expect such care when you try to resolve a ponder. Or like a seer visions or anything of that sort. Yeah. Are there any Ikoria cards that are exciting to oh to both of you? Uh, so I'm playing this deck specifically because Sprite Dragon is my favorite card in the set. And wouldn't you know what I just drew? Tarmogoyf? <laughs> no, although that's a good one too. Oh, Sprite Dragon. Yeah, that card is very good. I like it. And like... Fan. The worst, I, I like the card a lot, but if you, if anybody has played a re, has been playing arena and has played run into a Coria cards, um, then they've probably run into the mass. How I have yet to see a normal sprite dragon on arena is what I'm trying to say. I've only I've only ever seen, seen Dorat as well. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. the what are like, they called? Well, I have no idea what it's called. It's. Show showcased or something well the kind of cards or whatever oh the kaiju cards yeah kaiju kaiju showcase cards or something right but the sprite dragon looks like the baby dinosaur from the television show dinosaurs <laughs> yes it does it's kind of terrifying <laughs> you're not wrong about that um Cameron? hey do you like gain do you like gaining life i do have a have a point of life here buddy thank you Cameron, any Ikoria cards tickle your fancy? Uh, well, I'm I'm running Bastion of Remembrance tonight mm. because it uh, dodges creature removal, and Blood Artists are usually very very high priority removal targets. Otherwise, I'm playing um, Mothra. Nice, you know, Luminous Brood Moth. Yeah. Um, and I'm also taking the Triomes out for a spin tonight, even though I'm not convinced they're actually any good for me. You can fetch them. Yeah. Which if is... You couldn't, yeah, if you couldn't fetch them, I don't think it's a big deal, but they're still playable in some some lists, maybe. But Yeah, if there's anything a creature-heavy, like... If there's anything a deck that needs to be coming out swinging really wants, it's come into tap lands, or come into play tap lands. But yeah. you know what? There's zero consequences here for trying things out, so I'm going to give them a shot. Maybe the flexibility will be worth it. Yeah, no, I love it. Strong play. You got one card in hand? One card? You have four? Yeah, but no, I, I'm thinking about serving with the Soul Warden into your 1-1 one, one that could easily become a 2-2. Two, Can you two. give me some of that Soul Warden beatdown realness? Ah, no, I'm gonna. I'm too chicken. I, I think this it, this goes far beyond the reaches of cowboy magic and is just um that's just reckless behavior. Yeah, the um what was the enchantment called? Oh, come on. What's the enchantment called again? Bond uh, of the Remembrance. The Blood Artist Enchantment. Yeah, what yeah. is it called? Is it Bond of Remembrance? Bastion of Remembrance. Bastion of yeah, the it does it triggers off tokens. You don't get to see that too often, especially from like newer blood artist effects. Yeah, no, it's it's very strong. It's just a little expensive, but I think again the uh, the 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 type makes it worthwhile. Also, it comes with a body, which not a lot of blood artists do. Yeah. All right, my pony back brigade. <laughs> Let's get yep. this train rolling. Powerful centaur courser over there. Chat's Warfare. calling me a coward. Chat, are you? Aww. What? What's? What am I? You want me to attack into that? Into a deck that I built, <laughs> that I know how many blue or red one mana instants <laughs> there are. That doesn't sound very good. 
do it for the camera, dude. Throw away one of your engines. Heck yeah. <laughs> well, since you pressured me, I guess I will. When you put it like that, how yeah. can I say no? Well, when you call me a coward and a big dumb idiot baby, I mean, who, who's to say no? Who wouldn't want to take that line? It's the it's the correct line to take. Okay, well, what are you gonna do? No make, joke. Oh, make my make my two one a three three. Because I really, I really don't want to do that. I'd really yeah. appreciate that. Just gonna just gonna make a little snack here. You mean two snacks? Yeah, that's right. That is what I mean. The food and Oko. Yeah, actually just the one. I don't want to go near that big pile of meat on the, the artifact token. Sorry. But... Oh, okay. Thank you for specifying that the artifact token was that slab <laughs> of meat. Yeah, I would definitely I would definitely cuddle up next to Oko on that uh, you know, attractively sloped hillside with the trees on it. Maybe maybe watch some Netflix. Maybe maybe I'm an old fashioned uh, man, but <laughs> There's something about a, a slightly inclined hill and tree roots that just yep. gets my gay heart a-fluttering. All right. I can't say no. And one, why would I? One time no spell appears. Perfect. I do only have one card in hand. You may, you may evolve, sir. We'd like to see what Knight of Autumn truly wishes to become. I didn't get this. After far. Eldritch Moon. Really didn't get this far ahead. The jailer is pretty good. Actually, this is probably fine. My game one, I sort of had like what the deck's trying to do. Like I had a bunch of pump spells in hand. I couldn't cast them all immediately, but I had yeah. the plan was was going on. And then this game, I'm just like, hey, I'm playing cards from 2019. <sighs> yeah, now Watch I'm out. now I'm just trying to think what I can. What do I have? Stupid Oko. well i should probably make a play this is pretty cool and greedy that becomes a thing then we block then we play a thing and then we lose or when this gets removed hmm wow the decisions uh turns out if you have to look at every creature in your deck it takes a little while to decide which one is best yeah i think i have to get this one dece why well, have one creature off of eldritch evo when you may have two and now i will blow up your food token please please blow up the food token come on yeah i like you I... had one job I don't have a lot of options there. Maybe I should have, well, thought about what I could possibly do against an Oko. I, it's like if I get Palace Jailer, it just spirals out of control so incredibly fast. But at least if I set up this Karmic Guide, it's in my graveyard, which is pretty cool and good. Yeah, I might just get killed by 2019 right here. Ooh. It's entirely possible. 2019 is a pretty scary year. Yeah. Uh, what are you gonna? What do, what do you? What do you got? The goat. Goat. All right. I I also just except for. Mm -hmm. You know, drew the full Hearthstone here, just playing on on my turn only. Mm, nope, don't want to. The Full Hearthstone. That's that movie about a bunch of out-of-work um, Warcraft classes that take up stripping for a... God, I forget what <laughs> that's, the... It, to, yeah, that's right. To pay the bills and they're like, you know, they're recently kind of defunct town. They don't have any... There's no war going on for them to fight. Yeah. The Alliance and the Hordes made peace. Do I that that I that's the plot to the full Monty, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. There's a dad trying to do the best by his kid, and 
he doesn't have work at a steel mill anymore. So then he gets all of his buddies to put on a night of stripping. Or maybe it's like a fun. Is it a fundraise razor? They only. I think they only strip like one time. Okay. I. You know what? I'm gonna level with you. I'm not super well acquainted with the plot of the full Monty outside of i'm fairly certain it was a poster hung up at a local blockbuster for 10 years past its release you got there you got there okay what are you doing being kind of good what are you doing what are you doing another target creature gains lifelink for two you can ignore this card so you're saying i should probably attack here I would recommend it, but I'm also yeah. your opponent. Oh, Invigorator Rampage. Okay. Uh, I'm going to draw a card first. Uh, sure. That's a little scary. Mm. I'm at 16. I think I'm also going to... Am I going to draw a card second? No. That's fine. What's your Gravestorm at? Uh, we're at, uh, Gravestorm right now is one. Okay, just checking. Yeah. You gotta check. Gotta check that Gravestorm. Yep. Um... Hmm. Well, I can't block... But thankfully, my Heliod is not a thing. Hi, I'm just an enchantment. Oh. Yes. Let's, uh, let's tickle your life total a little, little bit here. Just a little bit? Yeah, just, yeah, just casual. Not a lot, baby girl. Just a little bit? That's right. Food token. All right, are you ready for your level two judge test, Ben? Sure. Supposing this turn you get Heliod mm -hmm. online, and mm -hmm. then I untap with Oko and target Heliod with the plus one. Mm -hmm. What happens? I mean, you can play your turn first instead if you want. So this ends up being a creature that loses all abilities, and one of those abilities is as long as your devotion to white is less than five, Heliod isn't a creature... So my guess is it's just a 3-3. Three, three. Like, it stays an elk? Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. it's Wait, think? <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I told you all I've done with Oko is just stare at his abs, right? I've, I've never even gotten to the bottom of the text box yet. Yeah, that's uh -oh. right. Spike feeders. Sorry, I've uh, found my uh, good old Canadian content creator. Are you uh, infi lifing me again? Looperino. Oh, Maybe. sweet pea. We don't even get to untap with Oko to find out what happens? Wait, what do you mean find out what happens? I mean, I could pass. We could... Look, we have magic online. We have the no, world just, at our fingertips. If you I'm want... Just I mean, if you want, we could do it for... Si Wait, no, this doesn't work for science because this isn't a creature. For those, for those at home that is wondering what is going on this time... Uh, here's Heliod, sun crowned, two and a white. I'm not going to read all that. The important part is is that this says, whenever you gain life, you put a 1-1 counter on target creature or enchantment. And Spike Feeder. Uh, it's a green creature that has removed a 1-1 counter from it. I gain two life. So I remove a counter, which causes me to gain two life, which causes Heliod to trigger, which then says, hey, put a card on a card. Did you add gut shot? No, but I thought I would just go look just oh, in case okay. I had one more draw here. I do appreciate the let me do it twice and then do it. That's <laughs> yeah. that's the actual fear. That's when that's when the fear really sinks in. Absolutely, absolutely. No, we we want to make sure that when it it's like there's only two ways to do it, right? You're either supposed to concede as soon as 
the helia comes down before the opponent even starts going off because mm-hmm. you're smarter than them and you're the you're the superior nerd mm-hmm. or make them go through all the clicks and time them out but i always choose this line in the middle where i'm like oh yeah just so you know i didn't realize i was dead have you have you ever had anybody concede when you have like a like you have one of the two combo pieces in play and then you just start tapping very specific mana and before mm-hmm. you even cast the thing um yeah, pro- probably one of my one of my old roommates or so. It's fine to just concede in in various situations where that they, they have a strong feeling that I'm going to cast the, it, even if it's not when I have an hand. A gut reaction. There's certainly a range. There's a range of when to scoop uh, decisions in this game. Yeah, the scoop equity is a very well. It's very important. Absolutely. It's a it's a, it's a reasonable tool to try and develop and track um okay so that was well, thanks for the games well played yeah, there thanks um, thank you for I, the games i had a little bit of interaction i felt my deck purred along fairly smoothly i'm sure i could have played a little better but overall i yeah i really enjoy, enjoyed the games and just didn't quite have anything to, to say about your infinite life both times so that's fine yeah i i mean your deck the the deck the certainly has the interactive tools to either a clear my board or b kill me before any of these any of this nonsense even happens too Mm -hmm. yeah i did i did mulligan a few times there i guess i mulligan both games never got the like really early pressure plus pump spells that you want but i i have fun playing these kinds of decks so i I think it was i performed well and i like the list maybe scale up should get in oh yeah i think scale up i just missed scale up i just miss modern horizon cards all the time like that there's like a fists of flame card that could maybe get in there too like the common oh, okay. from Horizons. Uh, there's just a bunch of options that you can maybe look at. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. So that's our, our round two. Uh, we're going to have a third round where it's myself against Cameron. Um, Hello. Cameron, this is going to be a mess. There are going to be so many triggers on the bat- or on the stack. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I look yeah, forward probably. to it. <laughs> Um, luckily i haven't used moto in about six years so i'll have a lot of fun navigating those this is just put this is like dipping your feet into the shallow end of yep. magic online with a bunch of <laughs> like vintage cards <laughs> yeah running a complicated deck yeah having appropriate with this, stops with this dos 5.1 interface it's gonna be great okay. it's gonna be great uh speaking speaking of great though before we do that, and before we go to the commercial break that'll happen before that, uh, we should probably say thank you to some more people that have subbed during uh, during the time that we are jamming. Uh, That's right, man. Do y'all have okay. that window? So we up? love saying thank you. Oh yeah, yeah. I We're, do. The, yeah, it's the Canadian classic. Uh, I'll start the horn. Uh, Rabbit three hundred back for the sixty seventh month. <laughs> Not, uh, nice. Uh, Colin O'Clock came back for the 18th month. Thank you. Scratch Monkey, subscribe for 21 months now. Wheeler, dealer, chicken feeler. Chicken feeler. Sure. Chicken feeler. Uh, Dr. Sure. McBoop is back for the 40th month with heart. Oh, heart you as well. Smap D. Flafferman came back for the 16th month. 16 months and Ben Wheeler and Cam in a worldwide pandemic. Coincidence, you decide. I'm... I don't know if I like what that's implying about us, Cameron. I don't know if I like it either, but I do like that Ken Drake Ninetale subscribed for 40 months now. 40 months, 40% of a year. Excellent. Well done. Thank you. I mean, truly, when people say that 2020 feels like it's, you know, time is moving very slowly, this is what we mean. They've now turned it. Now, now years have 100 months. I don't know when this happened. Um, speaking of. Seven percent of the year, uh, seven months, uh, by Biosimicist. Uh, thanks for all the great MTG fun at this time, guys. Now that Akori is here, I can't wait to try and build the ultimate janky new perspective deck on Arena. Wait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, and a parked car has come back for the thirty-fifth month. All righty. Uh, thank- did, did it ever even leave? Judging by the picture <laughs> that they have attached to their account, that car looks like it's been there for about 35 months. Um, all right, so let's take a quick little commercial break. Then we'll be back. Uh, I'm going to be fighting Cameron. It'll be great. Stick around. 
uh, see you in a bit. Oh, welcome back, everybody, to uh, the Canadian Highlander gauntlet-ish uh, stream for Friday Night Paper Fight. The Wheeler of Fire. The Wheeler of Fire. Um, but it, it, it's not. It's not about me. It's about. It's about all of us here. We're all here playing, having fun. Uh, I've got Cameron with me for our third and final round match. Um, I'm going to click yes on this so that Magic Online stops screaming about inactivity timers. Um, cool, cool. And then I'm going to uh, click Mulligan because this hand's uh, brutal. When do I get to? When do I get to move to the part of my turn where I draw land? <laughs> these these are all good cards. Uh huh. I just need to draw the land part of the. Hand. All right. Well, this is. Uh, this let's i'm gonna click mulligan i'd highly recommend to do the same um you you were telling me uh during the break and then also before that you've played magic online before you've played a bunch uh oh yeah or, yeah but haven't done so in a while and i think i mean anybody that plays magic online will also just feel like you could you could take if your break is too long it just feels completely different and that could be like two days like like if i don't play magic online for like a weekend mm -hmm. it feels like an, a completely brand new program this feels a bit like uh having played with a oh fine i'll keep this this feels like having played with a um uh xbox controller for a while than picking up your nintendo oh like the original xbox controller like, yeah like the one that just looked bloated <laughs> yeah and it's it's not good it's not good did they design that controller with like orangutans in mind because like I... it's it's so big yeah, it's 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 the Canyonero of controllers. <laughs> Canyonero. Oh, Canyonero. Oh, now I wish I remember this song. Uh, good luck. Have fun. Mm. Let's have a good GL one. Good five. Have luck. High five. Good five. Uh, for those of you that haven't stuck around for or that weren't here for the first couple of rounds. Uh, you can find the decklist commands in chat, which will pop open the decklists. I'm playing a green-white um, uh, life gainy combo-y, but also mid rangey deck. It's kind of like a Pattern Rector deck, but worse. Um, and Cameron, have you you've brought uh, Old Faithful? I have. Uh, I decided that what the Aristocrats was really missing in Highlander, or my build of the Aristocrats in Highlander, what the deck was missing was roughly $25,000 of cards. <laughs> Man, that's one thing Magic Online's pretty good uh, for, is, well, turning Black Lotus from a $30,000 card to a $5 card. That's a pretty quick yeah, conversion. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a big improvement. Hmm. I don't know. I could develop this pony boy. See, here's the nice thing, is that I can say that I want to develop my pony, and it could be one of, like, ten cards in this deck. Oh. I should play the horse. There's an actual factual horse with like <laughs> that says if you gain a certain amount of life in a turn, you make more horses. I think that's what this, I think. I think that's what this deck is missing. Uh, horses. All right. Well. Yeah, we do have Akoria cards too. Uh, you've got the old Mardu Triome. Uh, in play over there and i imagine a couple other cards as well we might actually be playing similar akoria cards i uh, probably you don't have to spoil it for me although i could also just open up this deck list here are you on um the very good cat 
Uh, I have not been trying the very good cat. I am trying uh, Mothra, mm -hmm. for one thing. Um, <sighs> Heliod Suncrowned? No. Okay. It would have been really funny if you just opened up, like, you're typing and it's just twitch.tv slash loading ready run. <laughs> you're going for the stream snipe. Type in moto chat. Suck it, nerd. I mean, I suppose that would be like the, uh, I couldn't really take credit for any, any, uh, therapy sniping that I got off here. Mm -hmm. Just because the possibility exists that I am, in fact, just watching the stream. Um, hmm. this is a good magic card, but I don't know what I'm gonna. Uh, actually, that okay, cool. Never mind. I think I, I think this is also a good magic card, so I'm gonna play this, especially because yeah. it's a cabal therapy. Uh, and then I'm just probably passing. Wait a minute. Oh man. Okay, classic magic online bug. It wouldn't let me attack with my wall of blossoms. <laughs> Unbelievable. I will say this. I mean, Arena is certainly flashy, um, but there's something nice about playing, I mean, obviously with not just the old cards, but also this is just classic Heather Hudson art. Just love that Wall of Blossoms. Ooh. Mm. Whoa. What did I draw? Well, I guess I can actually check. Um, hmm. This is fine. Uh, okay. Oh, right, the goat. Took a second for my brain to try and process why, why you just had a free cabal therapy getting fired off here. But it's the goat, of course. Um, walking ballista is a bit of a problem but yeah i think i might well it's just like i could kill this woe strider but it's not exactly a card you hate to have in your graveyard and it feels really weird having a survival of the fittest and not using it um what could i Play. I could have pitched that to find that and then get that heal, uh, get it savined. I could also just savine if I want to next turn. Hmm, decisions, decisions. I think I'm going to just pass. Hmm. Well, you're not the card I wanted. <laughs> Writes down, not the card he wanted. N O. I guess it doesn't actually matter if I get back. Oh, no, it does matter. I do need to fetch. I was going to say, I guess it doesn't matter if I do one thing before the other. But no, Ben, it, it, it actually does. In fact, it's the only thing that matters is that you do this one thing before doing anything else. Uh, let's Savine's Reclamation back this Renegade Rally here. Oh, that is actually brutal. Uh, I'll get back in forest. Yeah, Savine's Reclamation, a uh, hell of a magic card. And it, uh, like somehow through all of the insanity of like 2019, one of the best cards to come out is just like a white sorcery that brings a thing back. I mean, that's really underselling the card, <laughs> but... Hmm. Uh, what do we even do here? Hmm. Hmm. Thinking. Thinking. Hmm. That's really what Magic Online needs. 
you should be able to click on your avatar and have it um, have it make some kind of noise, like do the hello <laughs> greetings. But instead, I guess it would just be a bird squawking. Seems likely. I made a huge mistake. Yeah, I made a huge mistake. I should have done something in response to that tithe taker. Oh, classic. <laughs> yeah, wow. The Sabine's reclamation hitting Renegade Rallyer is brutal. Yeah, it kind of makes... I mean, it's... There's just a lot of value. Which I guess is... I'm going to grab this land. Ooh, that's also quite good. Um, pitch that. To find that. What do I want to do? Maybe I just want to play... This, uh, sure, why not? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I could try to set up for combo, but that also just leaves me wide open to a variety of things. I think I'm going to kill this Woe Strider. Uh, response. Scry. Hmm. Hmm. I see. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's probably fine. And I'll try to shoot it. If you don't mind me asking, because I don't have the, the chat or gameplay window open on here, um, did you scry to the bottom or the top? Bottom. Okay. It doesn't really change my plan, but... All right, giddy up. Four, three. Well, this is god awful. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Bet you didn't see this one coming. What? Two blockers? All right. One time, no trumpet blast. Joke's on you. I always play Invigorate in every green deck I play. Ooh. All right, now all we need to do, well, actually we need to do a lot now. My wall does nothing. No. I think I wanna, oh no, I've awoken my cat. Show me her secrets. <laughs> it's just an oof. Ah. Uh. Tis nothing but a finx. Um. That's pretty good at dealing with that and all those, but what if we... It's okay, chat. Maybe he'll forget about his flashback. Flash what? No, no, no. I'm playing green. Um... What if... Well, let's start off doing this, because I don't think I need that just yet. Ooh, I forgot I had this card in my deck. 
Um, hmm. Is that what they call a uh, a big pogger? Oh, pog, dude. We had a card in our deck. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, Palace Sailor's not that great. Ooh, this card's... Pr yeah, 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 yeah. Writes down Palace Jailer. Now we're putting this Black Splash in action. Ooh. Hell yeah. All right, Marin. All right, all right. All we have to do is not kill any of his creatures. Oh. Sounds simple, no? No. Oh, okay. Wait, what? 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 Oh no! I goozled myself! Oh, okay, so what I did, because I... Oh, God, the Marin wording. So what I did, right, it's at the beginning of your end step, I pick a creature card in my graveyard, and if it's mm -hmm. CMC is less than or equal to the experience counters, it goes into play. Otherwise, it goes to your hand. And I was like, oh, I'm going to put this walking ballista in my hand. But it's a zero-drop creature, so Marin's like, oh, sure, I'll put ballista in play. Oh, that's oh. yeah, fine. It's fine. It's fine. I did this to myself. On the plus side about Magic Online is that the YouTube comments can't have anybody being like, uh, at the, at one hour forty nine minutes, Ben was cheating by by returning Ballista to his hand. I demand um, he misplayed. Not only did he misplay, but he was an extremely large cheater and needed to get DCI banned. The end. From Naruto Dark Lord XX Sasuke. Uh, hold on. I just need to remember what color of mana I need to hold up. Yeah, you know what? Chat's right. Chat says it's a free experience counter. God, that's like... <laughs> Chat out here is acting like um, saying this is free experience counter is more or less just like saying um, you'll work for exposure, right? Hmm. Um, Hold on. Did I just. Hmm. Never mind. Was that good or bad? I guess we'll find out. Got this Deathrite Shaman, which may or may not be very good against the central theme of this deck. Yes. Um, okay, okay. This is fine. We're at we have a we have a million life points. Oh, I want this stupid bird. Or I could get my very nice cat. Hmm. I'm going to very quickly consult my deck list for a second. Okay, I've made my decision. I'll get the cat. <gasps> Zong. Yeah, I kind of love this card. What a good kitty. It also just lets me cast. Oh. Well. I could cast Walking Ballista. Um, actually, I could cast Walking Ballista. Let's... I mean, it is a death trigger for Marin, right? Ooh, yeah, I mean... Wait, yeah, wouldn't it have put an experience counter on her um, when she... I do have the... Well, it's on my, it's on my uh, chimp face. Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, because the counters aren't put on the the creatures. Right. You just get them, but like, it's magic on, or sorry, it's not magic online. It's just like in paper magic, it doesn't really work very well. All right, I'll play the scoos. Um... Row, row. Is this any creature? Another creature you control. All right, let's get this Marin into the red zone. All right, Marin, slam a lamb. Uh, 
Um, this is probably not great, but you know, I think I'm winning this race. I think I'll let that happen. But I probably should do this before I give you priority. Mm -hmm. Eat the uh, woe strider? Yeah, just in case. Yeah, seems sensible. Uh... I mean, I included it because I felt it might be a good card. Woe strider? Not a bad card. Con confirmed not a bad card. I don't want to get rid of this death rate. Oh ho! What's all this then? Please, not a goblin bombardment. Oh. Oh well, thank God it wasn't a goblin bombardment. Goblin bombardment, you say? Uh, what can I actually cast? You got the tri land, an additional green, and a rainbow. Deathrite Shaman. Yeah. They're pretty, pretty good. Oh, and... Well, no, that was stupid. I was going to say, and you have Urborg. So your yeah. Mountain's Plain Swamp is now a swamp. Wow. Like, is... I guess it might just be Goblin Bombardment. Bombardment's pretty good. Um, yeah. Uh... Sorry, I'm uh, thinking. No, take your time. Alternatively, could be something to blow up my survival of the fittest. Because yeah. I think that might actually be your best line. Like the Vindicate here seems like it could be important. Yeah. Like if you have like a Knight of Autumn or a Vindicate or... or I wish I did. Or, oh, Abrupt Decay because then you get to not activate your Deathrite Shaman. Or something like that. Because I think if you... If you leave me with survival, then I'm just going to be able to get the best creature in my deck, which is usually pretty good. Um, but, like, right now you're at 19, and I'm trying... Like, my game plan is, without the survival, is attacking. Yeah. And, like, I can never Marin back this Walking Ballista, and you can just start... Like, I, I can Marin back this Renegade Rally, or sure, but... Like I can, I can cast my walking ballista. That's one thing to think about, though, because I have, I have Luris. This cat is so good. Um, yeah, like Luris is actually a problem here because it means you win races. Yeah. If only there was something that killed the entire board, but luckily they've never printed a card like that. Um. god i mean i don't think it actually makes much of a difference to be honest i think you may have just been too far ahead i mean you can kill my loris which is yeah one but that does mean you start getting things back but then again i mean does it even matter it, I, I think it's a pretty tough spot for you. In, yeah, just the, in general. Look, yeah, the lifelink I think is too important. Yeah. Um, and I've got to get rid of it now, I think. Bye-bye, my sweet prince. My sweet... My queen, I guess. I assume that's her cub. Chat, for those of you familiar with the lore, uh, and all... Uh, what's the deal with Luris? What's the deal with Luris? All right, time for another edition of open up my deck bar or my uh, what should I call it? My deck and see what I can do. That's pretty good. 
If I get that back, then I can't cast land anyways. Hmm. Heliod. Well, I could get back that. Oh, uh, Chad, I don't think I play the uh, the new Mardu ultimatum in here. I don't think there's a world in which this deck runs a seven mana spell. It, it's only seven mana. <laughs> that seems like a reasonable thing. Um, I think I need to tap like that. All right. Yikes. Yeah, we're going mid. We're going. Oh, with the scoos out. This is a problem. Yeah, this is hopefully going to. Yeah, I think we can probably just scoop it up here. Sure, sure. Yeah, it's I, I. If you, you're just like stuck in a situation where you need to answer both Luris and then and survival, and I don't think, I don't think there's just a good answer to both of them. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Like board wiping here, board wiping there also just like doesn't do anything. Cause you know, I have kitchen finks and survival. Um, yeah. Well, let's see if I can get a keepable five. That would be good. A keepable five? We could do better than that. We can get you a keepable seven. Come on. This I can run with, though. Hell yeah. Take part, Cameron. You got this, buddy. Oh, what up, Nelson? Hey, Nelly. My kids, uh, they is asleep. Oh my god, why is this window so small? All good people are asleep and dreaming. What's Wait. that a quote from? I've a skinny puppy sample. Um, a skin. I forget what the uh, what the actual film is. In a perfect world, men like me would not exist. But this is not a perfect world. I just realized I don't have devoted druid and vizier in this deck, which should absolutely be in over the soul wardens. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh, Pog, dude. Uh, what do we got here? Um, if you look at the art on this version of Imperial Recruiter, uh, and you translate the text on the um the poster that's on the wall. It's actually just an article that he's written about why Lutri should be unbanned in Commander. <laughs> it says free coalition victory. <laughs> now that's a cause I can get behind. You really going to leave coalition? Sins. Hmm? Oh, I just said Primeval Titan paid for Sol Ring's sins. I think I think Soul Ring is sinned or sorry, I think Prime Time is also just sinned plenty. Yeah, but I'm not here to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> Let me play my Prime Time. Prime Time, an example of a card that was missing one word. Uh, math, hold on one moment. Oh, missing basic? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Card would still be really good. <laughs> Thank you, rechargeable Frenchman. I feel proud of myself. This time it was mom who did all the work, but it's still just a win that they're asleep. All right. I think I auto yielded on my soul warden or rather my Oriok champion. Properly. Oh. Wow. Truly a tournament of champions. Blood soaked and Oriok. I think we just get in here, don't we? Mm. Why do you. I don't think I'm going to block your Imperial Recruiter. I don't trust putting that card in the graveyard. Hmm. 
I'm willing to... I'm willing to potentially extend. Maybe you weren't. Well, no, you've played this. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm not. I'm not touching that recruiter. You've got like reanimate ish cards. Um, am I really spending my turn casting another Soul Warden? Yes. Before we got into match, we we talked about. We kind of hyped up how gross, the number of triggers might get between blood artist and just like all these soul wardens uh, uh how do i auto yield to this uh right click on the ability and then there will be four options to yield or always yield yield to that uh, until end of turn always yes always no and then you want to always yield and always you want to click always yes first and uh, then always yield and then that always. should yeah the, you say uh, you do the auto or sorry you say always yes first and then you say always yield and then it should okay. make it so that any future triggered abilities are just automatic supersonic hypnotic funky fresh um all right let's get in with this is also a pretty good album name which I mean, most magic cards, if you combine them or like magic sayings, you could probably get a pretty good fake discography of a band together. Mostly metal albums, though. Like, if we have to talk about rules to get into prog rock or like electronic dance music. So, you want to get into prog rock, huh? Well, I guess my first question is. How many times have you played through Green Sun Zenith? Exactly. The Blood Artist discography is extensive and daunting. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I should probably... Well... I... I I could yield, well, I'm not going to yield to the Blood Artist trigger just because it can get really messy. No! Look what they've done to my boy. They massacred my wall. Oh, god damn. I mean, this lets your champ attack. Well, good thing I gained all that life. Uh, what can I grab? I don't even think I want to grab that. Oh, actually, that's kind of hilarious. Um, hmm. Gr gr grab? Grab? Let uh. me... Hmm? Always yield. Paper fight. It's Ben Wheeler against Cam against Magic Online. Oh, yeah. All right. Oriok champion, you're on reach duty. And Vigilance? Busted. Alright. Um, well, the Soul's Attendant's getting in the red zone. Yeah, come on through. Oriok Champion. She perfect. What is it? She protects, she attack, but most importantly, she protection from black. It's all mean, but it checks out. Look, I'm not up to date with with what with what's hip oh sweet christ look i might not be hip with the lingo but i know when someone's got a blasting station that's about to run through my team oh yeah by 
Bye bye, Oriok champion. Hmm. Okay, well. Do you mind playing a painter's servant and naming green? Uh, yeah, I can do that. Oh, thanks, dude. It's a body, right? I can sacrifice it. Yeah, absolutely. It's just a playable card. Ooh, that's a pretty good card. Uh, can I sacrifice your creatures to Blasting Station? Um, that's going to be a big uh, N-O from me. Funny story. During the uh, development of Darksteel, originally the plan was to sacrifice your opponent's creatures with the Blasting Station, but then just before it went to press, they decided to instead give your creatures plus one, minus one to balance it out. <laughs> a last-minute decision left Blasting Station turning from a pinger to a one-mana equipment. They decided to give it modular. Uh... It's coming in. Are you ready to get some Dan Brown action going? Always. Some angels versus demons. Oh god, I must click concede. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you saw our line. Um What is sequencing? Uh uh, uh uh, spineless um, uh, oh, I don't know the quote oh I'm embarrassing myself on camera blasting station alright come on goat baby yeah I'm gonna always yield to these two Um, yes, I would like to use, okay, target, sacrifice, place on stack. Is it grinding? Grinding stations, the one that, um, what should I call it? Grinding stations, the one that triggers on itself, right? This is awful. Yeah, um, it's not. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's not uh, a soul warden plus an archangel of Thune is is very bad. Yeah, but you know, I... maybe maybe I maybe I peel. No, I die next turn. Let's kill Ben before that next turn. I don't think there's anything I can do against an Archangel of Thune if I don't have removal. Yeah, she gets out of hand super quickly. Um, probably. I'm going to set up the old Scoozerino. Who is Wilco? popular rock band oh yeah i i love uh spiders parentheses kid smoke is wilco in chat saying a thing no idea maybe what is wilco is a better question even hmm. all right and scoos i'm just gonna have a I'm just gonna have yeah, a quick, no, there's nothing I yeah, I just a quick little this. snack and then uh Yeah. Oof. GG's Yeah, no, nothing I can do against <laughs> Yeah, it's cause it, it's one of those awkward scenarios where I don't particularly care as much about you gaining life from the blood artist. Um and then my soul wardens can more or less negate the life loss. And then Ar Archangel just... This card gets so massively big. I actually... I thought about including her in... Giving her a shot in Aristocrats variants. No, I mean, like, you are playing a lot of creatures, yeah, right? 
I mean, just all and, your blood artists trigger her. Yeah. No, it's, it seems like a reasonable include. Do you remember her standard format? She was, like, fairly, I don't know, dominant. She was, like, a big corner of the metagame and a pretty expensive card when she first came out. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, like, you ran her with, um, what was the sheep? Oh, the in the sideboard? Yeah, Nyx Fleece Ram. Nyx Fleece Ram, yeah. What a good little sheep. The shepherd to the flock. Hmm. Anyways, speak... Oh, wait, no, and that's what... His name was Ivan Flock, too, right? Oh, yeah. No. Now I'm gone. Now I'm yeah. just going to be thinking about that all night. Um, <laughs> that but... was a cool match, though. It, neat to see those two decks line up. Yeah, it, it would be... It, it's definitely a matchup that I think would be, like... You get the most out of it if you just, like, lined up ten games you know just to watch all to see all of the different little interactions great because... great match to bring onto the ferry or like you know air, airport you know waiting mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. four hours with your friend top, to, uh, top to tier cap, ferry right? match top tier ferry match which, top tier ferry match which is yeah, yeah i guess air, airport match is more applicable to well more or less all of the audience but <laughs> You know what? You're only allowed to play Canadian Highlander if you live on some island. It can be any island, but you have to live on an it island. It just has to be an island. We'll even count continents. They're big islands, right? That's why the powerful blue cards are legal in our format, right? It's because we live on an island. Yeah, we're able to draw from the mana of the natural resources. <laughs> wow, that sounded very West Coast. Uh, anyways, thank you for the match, Cameron. Uh, oh, thank you very much for having me. Oh well, the, hey, you know what? We're we are all in it. Uh, not unlike the high school musical smash hit, we're all in this together. We <laughs> we all got to jam a lamb some Canlander. Uh, I want to thank everybody at home that tuned in to watching this, that stuck was uh, stuck with us through any kind of technical difficulties that we may had uh, through magic online shenanigans uh really appreciate it we're we, you know we're doing what we can to get out as much uh well content and in this case canlander content to all y'all during these uh trying times um before we get to uh some of the other closing uh parts of the stream we should probably thank uh the last couple of people that came in with subscriptions uh starting with cetralin back for the 44th month Watching Wheeler win a camp. Highlander, it's like my first night at Yellow Jacket. I, who uh, are, hmm. Scapus has come back for the 53rd month. Thank you. Oslin has subscribed for 11 months now and says, oh boy, honestly, it's super nice to see you all doing some Highlander in these trying times. I think of it as playing Highlander. If you're doing some Highlander, you might want to slow down. I'm doing some Highlander right now. You want in? Oh. Anyways, Mort Divine back for the eighth month with a robot laughing. Hello? Not Kane. Not Kane nor Abel has come back for the 21st month. Thanks, Lur, for all the content they make and all the work they have continued to do while being safe. Well, you're welcome. Got a gift sub thanks to Riking27, I believe, to Blong, aka Loud Notification Sound, is uh, new to the channel. Welcome. That's the sound that, when you think of a loud notification, it's like, that's, that's... After that After that match of Moto, did you, I don't know if you, well, you play a lot of Moto, sorry, so I do know that, but... I've been playing Arena and commenting on Arena and haven't touched Moto in a few weeks. And you got I know you know that in that time, <laughs> the sounds yeah. have changed. And every single time on the match tonight, whenever I hovered over a permanent that wasn't the land, it's just like, bong! <laughs> yeah, it well, before even before they updated the sounds, which everybody was asking for, you know, that was the number one thing that people wanted updated with Magic Online. Um, they Occasionally, if the client crashed... When you rebooted it, you all the sounds were just on, and just max volume. <laughs> yeah, is that like when you're browsing through your Netflix library and you accidentally mouse over one of the windows? Oh god! And it's just like it plays the loudest possible preview of whatever show it was that you accidentally went anywhere near. It's like you're walking down a hallway and somebody just karate kicks down a door. Oh, it's it's that, but instead of like sounds of a of a movie or a show um 
it's like slightly pitch shifted RuneScape sounds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Absolutely. Oh, and, and uh, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna thank Xanto sixty nine. Nice for yeah. fifty bits. Just at the end there. Um, Me too. That's also all I was gonna say. We're all hey, we're all in it for Xantos or the sixty nine, either one. Uh, and of course, I, I we also can't forget thanking uh, all of you for watching the stream and supporting us through the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Loading Ready Run. Uh, it's because of you that we are allowed to uh, make RuneScape jokes on, in front of a camera. Uh, and also, of course, uh, Card Kingdom. Uh, please use the affiliate link, cardkingdom.com slash LRR. Uh, if you're looking to order cards, I know Acoria pre-orders are up and running. And if you say button, please, when you make the order, once they ship out, there are some issues with shipping. Again, there's a bit of a pandemic going on, uh, but they'll get up and running pretty soon, actually. Uh, once it ships out, you'll get the button. I don't know what the button is. And you know what? I'm not even going to I'm not even going to try to ask because who knows? You'll get something. Let's It'll be, be nice. real here. By the time you get your button, we may it might be a button we haven't even written yet. It might just be a button that says like Teferi Ultimate and then asterisk whoopee cushion. Actually, let me yep. write that. Let me write That's that. That's like good. Can you put that in the Slack? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put that. Actually, I will. You know what? I'm going to put that in the Slack. Or maybe Teferi Alt or Nissa Alt. Uh, hmm. Why not both? Just put them both in there. Whichever one James likes more will turn yeah. into a button. Look, if you if you throw enough darts at the board, one of them's going to stick. Also, also, before we leave, we uh, we thanked we thank Card Kingdom and uh, we'll thank the Patreon in a second. Mm -hmm. But before I forget, I want to let you all know that if you tune back in on this channel tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., yeah. you get to catch the Ikoria post pre-release. We've managed to put together an event that more or less simulates the pre pre-release. Obviously, you can go into your your local game stores or order from your local game stores or walk up to the door of your local game stores whatever your deal is um and buy a Korea cards as of today um so we normally would have done this event two weeks ago but we've managed to get, get together for tomorrow it's on our twitch channel it's going to be fantastic we've got just a huge host of the coolest people in magic content creation joining us along with some wizards of the coast employees. Yeah, you know, a couple of names. You got Louis Scott Vargas, Gabby Sparts, uh, the professor at Clarion Community College, uh, David Humphreys, Olivia Gobert Hicks, uh, Sam from Ristic Studies, Amy the Amazonian, Melissa Del Toro, Bra uh, Blake Rasmussen, Megan Wolf and Maria Bartholdi. Sorry if I mispronounce your name, Maria. I apologize from Good Luck High Five and Brian David Marshall. Uh, just to name a few or to name, well, all the special guests at least. Uh, 9 a.m. Pacific PST uh, tomorrow over here. Twitch.tv slash the living room. Ready, run. My God. Nelson, Cameron, thank you for uh, doing this. This was fun. Thank you for having me. It was fun. Yeah, this was a nice little ditty. Friends. And uh, thank you all of you for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you later. Bye -bye. Have a good one, everyone. Thanks for being here. Thanks.